2018 National Signing Day for football. Uh, Coach, uh, the NLI, Kevin Dovey, you, uh, talk about the, uh, the class overall and how you think today went. Uh, we're extremely pleased with the class this year. You know, and I, I know we sit here and say that as coaches every year, but um, I think top to bottom, um, our best recruiting class up to this point. And we've had as many. Uh, we've, we've signed 40 before, but I think the quality of the 40 that we have, top to bottom, um, it's, we, we've taken that next step, I think. And I, it's a credit to the coaches. It's a credit to Coach Milo and each position coach. Um, we put an emphasis on position recruiting. And uh, I, we excelled in this class. Um, we really um, hit the nail on the head with a lot of different position groups. Um, had a huge need uh, in some positions to find guys that we feel like can compete at our level immediately, and I think we did that. You talked about position groups. Was there were there any areas of, of concentration that you guys had at this class as far as positions? Um, you know, I think you I, your overall goal is to find guys that are going to come in and have a chance to compete immediately. Um, we had a need, a definite need up front on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, losing our top four defensive ends and then a couple defensive linemen, interior linemen. We really had to try to find guys that we felt could compete at that level. And it was our goal to find guys that would be program guys, guys that would come in and be here for four or five years. And uh, we, we feel really good with that. Um, and then also on the offensive side of the ball, offensive line wise, we're always trying to build depth. Um, ever since we moved to the NCAA Division II, and we've, our goal has been to have 10 guys we felt comfortable with putting out there on the football field. And uh, we hadn't been there up to this point. I think we got there today. You talked a little bit about uh, the defensive line. Um, just looking at the numbers on some of the guys on, on the defensive line and the offensive line, was, was size one of the things that you guys really targeted as a, as a premium for this class? You know, size is something you can't coach when you're talking about linemen. Um, it's something that they either have it or they don't. Um, the good thing about the guys that we signed today is not only do they have size, but they have great athletic ability. And not only that, um, if we did our homework as coaches, they're coachable. And they're going to be guys that can develop. Um, you know, nobody is perfect. Uh, and, and so there are areas that they can grow in and, and be coached in. Um, and I, I, we're excited about that possibility, about the direction that we're going in that area. Right. So that was by design. Yeah, um, you know, we found some really long, athletic uh, players in the in the secondary, um, and the good thing is, is we've already got a strong unit that is returning in the in the back end, and so um, we feel like the, the guys that we signed today at safety and corner can come in and help provide depth and even challenge. Um, we always want competition in each position group, and so we feel like they can come in and challenge, but. You know, the height advantage across the board in every position, um, we, were, uh, we were able to find guys who were athletic, who were coachable, and had great size. Um, I think we've kind of dialed in to where we want to be. And, uh, you know, obviously we've always recruited Oklahoma heavily. Um, that was a goal that we had when we first came here. Uh, but, you know, just realizing the expanse of the market in Texas when you're talking about recruiting, the DFW area, the, the number of athletes per capita in DFW, and the fact that it's only three hours away from us uh, means that we really need to, needed to focus more in that area and you know our coaches um, having a chance or, or you know being willing to go down there and develop relationships with high school coaches and um, be welcomed in when we go down there now has opened the door for recruiting in Texas and you know we have never signed a class that is equal as equal between Oklahoma and Texas as we have this year we've always put an emphasis on finding Texas kids but I think the relationships that have been built between our, our coaches and the head coaches in Texas have opened the door for more athletes to be signed out of that area. Quite a few guys in this year's class coming from big time high school programs, championship caliber programs, both in Oklahoma and Texas. Uh, what 
what is it? What is it about those programs and the and the kind of kids that they're they're producing that are um, you know a good fit for ODU? And, and talk about getting some of those guys. Uh, it's always been critical to us. Um, not always successful, but it's always been critical to find guys in, in big time programs that have a have success like that, especially at the highest level, because we know what kind of competition they're playing week in and week out. Um, you know, a lot of the guys that we have recruited in this class have played against Division I caliber athletes. And so, you know, they've had to find ways to be successful. They've also um, experienced success in a long-term um, time frame in the programs that they've come from. And so we rely on those guys to come in and help build that at our program. That's what we're trying to build to is, is a program that will have that long-term success and win consistently at the highest level with class and integrity. And we're finding guys that will come in and help us do that. You know, I, I think it's the relationships you build. I, I really believe that the uh, the blue dot NCAA has opened doors recruiting wise in the larger markets, especially our secondary markets. Um, I, I don't we have never really had an issue or a problem recruiting Oklahoma because of the relationships that our coaches have with the high school coaches in this state. Uh, now, when you go down into Texas and uh, in other secondary markets, um, the uh, it was a little bit more challenging before this transition, to be honest. Um, you know, even with the, the high academic standards and high academic performance of our university, when you're talking about the athletics, even though we've had strong athletic performances, um, even, even though our athletics have been extremely strong, just wasn't as well known in secondary markets. And so it seems like making the transition to the NCAA has brought a, another level of recognition um, in our secondary markets, and that's helped our recruiting, and that's why you see more athletes coming out of the Texas area, the Arkansas, um, in those areas. What's been what's been kind of the selling point? What's been the uh, the storyline that, that you, you've been putting out there to, to guys coming in about you know where the program's at, the direction that it's going, and and, and maybe what uh, impact they can have on on what you're trying. <laughs> We're a, we're a hands-on coaching staff. Um, we are some, we're a coaching staff that really takes an interest and makes an investment in the players that are in our program, not just in the athletic department, but also in the academics and, and the social aspects and the, you know, just the family issues, the day-to-day -day issues that, that kids nowadays experience and trying to build, build men um, who are quality young men. Um, and, you know, I've got a definition of manhood that we talk about, a man, rejects passivity, accepts responsibility, leads courageously, and expects a greater reward. Um, and and the, the critical thing for us is to get those guys on campus and so they can experience it firsthand. Um, we feel like if we can get a player on campus with his family and experience what we have to offer, not only in our football program, but at our university, um, when they take the campus tour, they're always impressed with the development of our campus, what we have to offer, um, all the people that they interact with on our campus, I mean, if we can get somebody on our campus, we're going to have a shot at them. It's going to be hard for them to say no. And so that's been a critical thing for us, and we've really fine-tuned our visits, and I think that's a critical component. I think a lot of people walk away from here having to consider OBU as one of their top three, and we hear that all the time. And that's, uh, that's something that we've really excelled at, I think. All right, thanks.